The Congolese Prime Minister Augustin Matassa Ponyo has resigned to allow a member of the opposition party to take his place. The move comes as the Democratic Republic of Congo edges closer to a political crisis. A presidential election scheduled for the end of this year was postponed until April of 2018 to the dismay of the Congolese opposition. They accuse the president, Joseph Kabila, who has been in office since 2001, of manipulating the electoral system so that he can have a longer term. Let's get more on this and speak to our correspondent, Fidelis Mba. Fidelis, good to see you. So uh, talk us through exactly what has happened. Why has the prime minister resigned? Well, he did come out to say that um, he's, uh, it's in line with an agreement signed on the 18th of October with uh, a faction of the opposition. You know, they, they, they agreed that he would step down with the entire cabinet, just the president at the moment remaining. So within the next few days, we're expecting a situation where uh, the, they will concede some of the posts to so the opposition groups who have actually more like aligned with them to ensure that um, they diffuse uh, the tension on ground but the main opposition bloc is actually not part of this agreement. So it's more like, um, more like uh, an exercise just on paper at the moment because it changes nothing in practical terms. Mm. So what does it mean for the country's political future? Because there's been a lot of instability for quite a while now. The, the main opposition bloc is still insisting that the president should step down when his tenure ends on the 19th of December. They are asking that uh, he should you know, respect the constitution which says he should serve out his two terms, which ends on the 19th of December. So they want fresh elections, though the constitutional court has come out to back the, you know, the uh, proposal for a delay of elections until April 2018, the, uh, citing a lack of funds and also the fact that so, so many millions of people have not been registered uh, to take part. So they don't want to disenfranchise uh, 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 the voting population. But right now, with the opposition insisting that the president should step down, no one can actually predict what's going to happen because the opposition is lining up a couple of protests leading up to December. The United Nations uh, team was uh, in Kinshasa, the, uh, the capital, on, uh, on, on, during the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, to speak with the president. And the president did say, he didn't actually uh, deny that he's seeking a third term in office. He just said that if the constitution did provide, you know, goes ahead to provide that he should run for a third term and that the people are happy that he will gladly, you know, take part and contest for a third term in office. He has clung to power for a long time. I mean, how is this likely to pan out, do you think? Do you think he will be pressured to resign? Well, that looks uh, very unlikely. He's so powerful. He's made himself very powerful. He's succeeded in uh, driving away the opposition, the main opposition people out of the country. Uh, right now, the pockets of opposition leaders who are there are even afraid for their lives. Some of them have been arrested. We've had about 50 people killed you know, since September when the protest uh, started. And then we've had many other people being arrested. So even the opposition are getting weakened because of the attacks. And also now he's coming out with his banned political protest in Kinshasa, which is the main uh, stronghold of the opposition. He's also uh, banned, there's a decree right now in place that has banned uh, foreign media from operating. He's li they've listed out uh, uh, BBC, they've listed out uh, Radio France International and some other media that they feel are influencing the opposition into carrying out this protest. So uh, with what's going to happen, I don't see him being pressured to resign, but uh, you know, they might just more, to, more like uh, try to reach a 50-50 and say, okay, maybe in 2018 he might be, be forced to resign. But at the moment, I don't see that happening because he has the backing of the Constitutional mm. Court of the he country. He has the upper hand. Okay, many thanks for talking us through that. Fidelis and Barr, there for us.